Hi friends, welcome to Edupedia World. This is Varun Ganga. Friends, in our last session, we have seen some examples regarding how to find cube of a four-digit number by using Yavadunam Sutra as well as Anurupyana Sutra. In this session, with regard to the same concept, we are going to have a look up some more examples. So, wait to wait. Let us see what that example is. The example that I am going to take in this session is Find the cube of 1063. So friends, in order to find the cube of 1063, we do have some parts of process that we have to follow. So the first part of process that we have to do here is the left part. So here in the left part, the first step what we have to do is, we have to find the nearest base of the given number 1063. So the nearest base for the given number 1063 is 1000. After finding the base, now coming to step number 2, in step number 2, what we have to do is, we have to find the axis and it is found out by comparing the given number with the base. So here the given number is 1063 and the base is 1000. So if we compare these two numbers, we get an axis of 63 and this axis is taken over here. After finding the axis, now moving to step number 3, what we have to do here is, we have to multiply the axis with 3. So therefore, by multiplying 63 into 3, we get 189 as the product. After finding this product, now we have to add this product to the base what we have got. So therefore, by adding 1000 and the product 189, we get 1189. And this new sum 1189 is regarded as the required left part. After completing the process of left part, now moving to the process of middle part, the first step what we have to do is, we have to take the answer what we have got in the left part that is 1189 and we have to find the nearest base on the axis. So the nearest base of 1189 is 1000 and the axis it is found out by comparing the numbers 1189 with the base 1000. So if we compare these two numbers we get an axis of 189 and this axis is taken over here. After finding the nearest base and axis coming to step number 2 now what we have to do here is we have to multiply the new axis with the actual axis what we have got. So the new axis what we have got is 189 and the actual axis what we have got is 63. So therefore, by multiplying 189 with 63, we get 11,907 as the product. Now, this new product 11,907 is regarded as the required middle part. Now, after completing the process of middle part and moving to the process of right part, the first and the last step what we have to do here is, we have to find the cube of actual axis. So here the actual axis what we have got is 63. So in order to find the cube of 63, it is a bit difficult for us since it is a two digit number. So therefore, now what I am going to do here is, I am going to apply Anurupena Sutra in very short at my best. So at first, now what we have to do here is, we have to write these two digits that is 6 and 3 as shown below. So I am writing here 6 cube, 6 square into 3, 6 into 3 square and 3 cube. After writing all these numbers, let me place some horizontal and vertical bars like this. Now, what I am going to do here is, I am going to write all the answers below the horizontal bar in each and every part. So here if we do 6 cube, we get 216 and 6 square into 3 that is 36 into 3, we get 108 and 6 into 3 square that is 6 into 9, we get 54 and finally 3 cube, we get 27. After writing all the answers, now let me place one more hard journal bar. Now, what I am going to do here is, I am going to double the numbers that are in the second part and the third part. So here in the third part, what I have got is 54 and if you double this number, we get 108 and the answer what I have got in the second part is 108 and if you double, we get 216. Now, I am going to place one more hard journal bar like this. So here I have got two rows, this is the first row and this is the second row. Now what we have to do is, we have to add up these two rows. So here coming to the fourth part, here we don't have any numbers to add up with 27. So therefore I am writing this 27 as it is over here. And now coming to the third part, here we are having 54 and 108. So by adding these two numbers, we get 162 as the answer. And coming to the second part, here we are having 108 and 216. If we add up these two numbers, we get 324 as the answer. And coming to the first part, here we don't have any answers to add up with 216. So therefore, I am writing directly this 216 over here. Now, let me place one more horizontal bar. So friends, 
I think you know that we are using here Anurupena Sutra in finding the cube of a two digit number. So whenever we are using Anurupena Sutra in finding the cube of a two digit number, especially in each and every part, that is in second part, in third part and fourth part, we should have only one digit. So therefore, coming to the fourth part, here we are having 27, it is a two digit number. So therefore, we have to take the digit in one's place, that is seven in our answer and we have to send the remaining digits as carry on to the next parts. So here I am taking this two to the next part, that is to the third part, I am adding with it. So if we add 162 plus two, we get 164 as an answer. And again this 164, it is a three digit number, so therefore we have to take the digit in one's place, that is four, and the remaining number, that is 16, should be taken as carry on to the second part. And by adding this 16 to 324, we get the sum 340. Again, this sum 340, it is a three digit number, so therefore we have to take the digit in one's place, that is zero, and the remaining number, that is 34, should be taken as carry on to the first part, and we have to add with 216. So by adding 216 with 34, we get 250 as the answer. In first part, we can have as many digits as we want. Now let me place one more hard journal bar, and let me write all the answers what we have got in first, second, third, and fourth parts. So here in the fourth part, I have got seven in third part I have got 4 and in second part I have got 0 and finally in the first part I have got 250. So therefore by combining all the answers what I have got in the first, second, third and fourth part we get the final answer for 63 cube and therefore we can say that 63 cube is equals to 250,047 and this 250,047 is regarded as the required right part. After finding all the parts, that is the left part, the middle part and the right part, let us write all these parts in an order like this. And let us place some horizontal and vertical parts again like this. So friends, I think you know that here we are finding the cube of a four digit number by using Evadunam Sutra. And the base what we have taken is thousand. So therefore we have to take three digits in right part as well as in middle part. But in left part we can have as many digits as we want. So if we observe the answer what we have got in the right part, it is a six digit number. So therefore we have to take the last three digits that is 047 as our answer and the remaining digits that is 250 should be taken as carry on to the next part that is to the middle part and we have to add to it. So therefore now I'm taking here 047 in our answer and I'm sending this 250 to the next part that is to the middle part and I'm adding to it. So therefore by adding 11,907 with 250, we get 12,157 as the answer. Again if you observe this answer, it is a 5 digit number. According to our rules and regulations, we should have only 3 digits. So therefore now what I am going to do here is, I am going to take the last 3 digits, that is 157 as our answer and I am sending the remaining digits, that is 12, to the next part as carry on and I am adding to it. So by sending this 12 as carry on to the left part and by adding to it, we get 1189 plus 12 is equals to 1201. But here in the left part, we can have as many digits as we want. Now let me place one more hard journal bar and let me write all the answers in all the parts. So here in the right part, we got 047 and in the middle part, we got 157 and finally in the left part, we got 1201. Now, by combining all the answers what we have got in all the parts, we get the final answer. And therefore we can say that 1063 cube is equals to 1,201,157,047. So guys, this is the way how we can use Evadunam Sutra in finding the cube of a given four digit number. I hope that you have understood pretty well how to use this Evadunam Sutra as well as Anurupena Sutra. So friends, in the next session, we are going to have some more examples regarding with the same concept. For watching this video, thank you. Have a nice day.